Hello, it's Tuesday. Uh, it's February the 8th. I misspoke yesterday, uh, suggesting we'd be in Chapter 10. We'll be in Chapter 10 tomorrow, uh, but we still have verses 17 through 21 of Chapter 9 to look at. And John has, um, uh, what John has heard in verses 13 to 16, the snake-tailed, fire-breathing horses, 200 million of them killing a third uh, of mankind, the unsealed uh, unbelievers, uh, is now explained in a sort of visionary form. And these riders have breastplates, uh, the color of fire and um, hyacinth and uh, brimstone. The horses' heads are like lions. Out of their mouth comes fire and brimstone, uh, similar to the locusts in the fifth trumpet. Fire, brimstone, smoke uh, are what we think of in the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. So that may be in the background here. And now they're called three uh, plagues who destroy a third of uh, mankind. Uh, The horses' tails are now described uh, like serpents' tails. And and the reference to the power uh, of these horses being in their mouths might suggest that what is uh, being portrayed here in this apocalyptic form uh, is the power of false teaching and idolatry. Uh, The manner uh, of their spiritual death is brought about by false teaching, uh, false culture narratives, false uh, false gods and uh, idolatry. And perhaps uh, that is the lesson of this uh, for us as Christians, that we need uh, to keep the faith. Uh, We need to keep the purity uh, of doctrine. We need to adhere closely to what God has revealed to us uh, in Scripture, Uh, the faith once delivered to the saints. The unsealed will believe all manner of narratives to explain Uh, who they are and and why they are here, Uh, but Christians will stand fast to the narrative of the revealed Word of God in Scripture. Well, that's it for today. Uh, We'll come back tomorrow for Revelation chapter 10.